Do you know that your phone is killing your trading account? Let's talk about that today. So there's been a study by US retail brokers and they found out that up to 20% of the trades were made on mobile using your phone. The first thing you should not do is to use your phone to analyze to find trade opportunities because personally i just feel that the phone screen is like too small and i feel that it's not very user friendly not easy to use like you are just using a thumb i prefer like using a mouse and a keyboard to properly do things now mobile trading is okay if you're like a pro like you're just like a freaking pro but then for most retail traders they are just beginners. Bare minimum, if you can't afford a computer, an iPad with a decent screen size is okay. But for phones, I find that most of the screens are just too small. Maybe I'm just blind. Especially if you want to backtest. I just find that you need a keyboard, a proper keyboard for you to do things really efficiently, really fast. I want to go to a specific certain date and just type in the date and then enter. But for mobile phone, it's hard to do that. For the typical retail trader, the mobile phone is just doing more harm than good. So personally, every time I analyze the charts, I must use a computer or laptop. I wouldn't allow myself to analyze it on my phone because I know that I would see things differently and then I would make really stupid trades. And this comes to the second point. Don't use your phone to open a trade. Just don't. And there's a real study conducted to prove this. The disinhibiting effect. They studied people who trade using smartphones and they found out that those who trade using smartphones, they tend to buy riskier assets as compared to the so-called control group who is not using smartphones to trade, who is using a proper computer laptop to trade. And the study has also proven that smartphone traders are more likely to chase performance, buying stocks that have performed well in the recent past. And they are also more likely to chase the price. So I know a lot of marketeers, they like to say like, now you can trade forex using a mobile phone, you can trade stocks, Bitcoin using a mobile phone. Yep, that is just for marketing purposes. That's it. Whether it's a true fact or not, we wouldn't know. But studies won't lie. When I trade with my phone, I tend to do stupid things. But when I trade with my computer, I'm like, you know, I'm in trader mode. I'm more focused. I don't know if you feel that way or is it just me again? The thing about your smartphone is that like you can text somebody instantly, anywhere, anytime you want, right? But at the same time, you can also open a trade anytime, anywhere you want. And that is the danger because you can do it anywhere you like. And hence, you will over trade. You will take excessive risk. You will do things that you're not supposed to do. The third thing you shouldn't do with your mobile phone app, micromanaging. The problem comes when you micromanage it, like you sit in front of your wife, husband at dinner, and then you're just like, my trades are more important than you. But to monitor it, it is okay. Now, there's a difference between monitoring and also micromanaging. So the first thing you should do with your mobile trading app is to monitor your open trades. Like you have opened a trade using your laptop, computer, whatever, and then you just use your phone to monitor. And that is the purpose you should use it for. To be safe, this is what I do because I'm more of a long-term trader. I monitor it once a day, especially for those super long term trades, once a day. But for those shorter term trades, I will look at it once per hour or once every two hours. You don't have to look at it every one minute, every five minutes, once every five minutes. It's just too stressful. Monitor, but not micromanage. The second thing you should do with it is to exit a position. But there's also another downside is that some people will take profit early when they're not supposed to. So if you want to be super conservative, then just use it to monitor your trades. If you really have to, then use it to exit your trades. So two things only, only these two things, monitoring, exiting, entering, analyzing, backtesting, computer. Because personally, I feel that when I'm in front of my computer, I am in trader mode. You know what I'm saying? When I'm with my phone, I'm just like, it's chill time, relax time. If you cannot afford a computer, laptop, 
why not try something else? Because if you don't have the capital to buy a computer, then it shows that you're not ready to start trading yet. You're just not ready financially. Maybe mentally you're ready, but financially you're not ready. So you gotta save up and then buy a proper computer for it. You don't need six screens, four screens, three screens, two screens. For some traders, one screen is enough. You know what I'm saying? So don't pressure yourself and be like, I need to be just like professional traders. Do whatever that works for you. And now I need to charge my phone. Talk to you soon.